think I saw a mosquito. I ran over here. I don't know why. Mike, I've got this dumb problem I can't figure out how to deal with. Dumb probs! That's my new rap name. I've been friends with this guy for about a year now, and we've always kind of flirted and had a little thank you, that's a motorcycle, had this tension between us. Recently, we both kind of confessed our feelings to each other and decided to see where things go. I brought up that I was afraid of him losing interest after a few months because I have seen how he's been in other relationships and he confessed that he has a hard time staying attracted to people for very long and can't guarantee that won't happen. Oh, we decided that even though we both wanna be with each other, we will remain friends. No, no, no. We will remain. No, we will remain friends. That's the one. Because we would both rather keep each other as friends than lose each other entirely. But now I'm not so sure if I want to do that. And now I see why you're writing me a letter. I want to be with him and he wants to be with me. And all of our friends think we should be together. So is it really a bad idea? And that's a question mark. I don't know whether to go to work. No. You should always go to work. I don't know whether to work to get over my feelings and just be his friend or talk to him more about maybe just going for it even though we both think it may end and won't work out. Maybe in the end it won't work out. Anyways, this is a dumb prop. She said, that's not me saying that, that's her. Anyways, this dumb problem is eating me up currently. P.S. You're a really funny comic and if you decide to come to Seattle anytime soon you can bet your ass on buying tickets. Request your boy at your local comedy clubs. All of you. All of you. Uh. Okay, here's what happened. You decided that you liked each other. And then you talked about that. And that's good. But then you said, eh, but I'm worried about you doing this, this, and that. And that's bad. Because that adds instant pressure to the, why am I not? Because that adds instant pressure to the relationship that's not even a relationship yet. If he was like, I want to date you too, but I remember that you cheated on me with... Uh, Alex McGinnis in seventh grade, so I don't want that to happen again. You don't start out on even footing. You're always like fighting against the top, fighting against this negative image of yourself. I'm not saying that your concerns aren't valid. Your concerns are valid, but everyone has their flaws. Like cats have their claws. And, um, you're in college. Everyone is bad at dating. Even outside of college, you just you have to decide whether or not you like a person enough to give them the benefit of the doubt. That's all dating is because they haven't done that stuff to you, so you got no beef until they do. That's what a relationship is. You're betting on whether or not that person's gonna fuck up. You just have to decide whether or not you're cool with seeing if he fucks up or not. That's all dating is. Betting on your chances with the other person. Betting on whether or not the other person's gonna fuck up. Dating's gambling. So don't stack the deck against yourself before you're, you're dealing hands. You've had your hand dealt. Too many gambling metaphors, but they all work. So then, you both talk to each other, right? You dealt your hands, last one, and then you decided together, or one of you decided, and the other one just agreed with it that it's that it's not gonna be a good idea and that's how you know it won't work there it is <laughs> it's like the two of you want to build a rocket ship because you want to get to the moon and you have to get to the moon and then when you're about to start you're like wait a minute do you know how to build a rocket ship nope do you well, guess who's not going to the moon <laughs> not you two not together not today and then and my voice can't get any higher, you decide that you want, that you guys should be together because all your friends think that you should be together? Are your friends the ones who are gonna have to break up with each other? When shit hits the fan? Nope. And that's why what they say doesn't matter. It sounds like you two get along. That's great. It sounds like you're very attracted to each other. That's also fun. Am I even in focus? Probably. And you definitely want what you can't have now? Whoa, we're not supposed to do it type thing? But, um... That's for a reason. And just remember that you got together and decided that it probably wasn't gonna work out. And now you're like, I still want it. So why would it be a bad idea? And that's why people do drugs. Do you see? I would eat cannoli wedding cake every day, but my fucking heart would explode. And I want it real bad, but I don't want that. But I don't want that. You see, when you're with the right person, even the right person for that time, it's easy.
even when it's hard. Just decide whether or not do you wanna do it and do that. Just make a decision to do that because anything is better than meandering in the middle. It's like you got a piece of sushi up to your mouth and you don't know whether or not to eat it because it made another girl sick one time. Of all the shitty things that could happen in that situation, which is the most uncomfortable? You eat it and you get sick, you put it down, or you put it down, you walk away, or you hold it up to your mouth forever. Go make your decision and live with it either way because it might not work out, but that's the fun of life. That's what people did. Don't deprive yourself of life experience because it might not work out sometimes. Or don't be afraid to not do something because it's probably not going to work out. Just make a decision. See you next week. Oh, I have shows. 14th, I'm at the Sycamore Tavern in West Hollywood. And on the 15th, I'm at Friends and Friends at the Open Space on Fairfax. Then I'm going to the San Diego Comic Con from the 20th to the 23rd. On the 24th, I'm at the Hollywood Improv for definitely not Star Search. On the 25th, I'm at the Comedy Store. Ah! in the belly room so come to see that and i'll have a link for you down below probably and if not there then it's on my instagram it will be there soon so chill out